Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. We're gonna bring you a story on beef master cattle today and visit several operations that have thrived for years with them in all phases of beef production. Beef master cattle are known for their excellence in fertility, longevity, and docility, as well as both pre and post weaning gain. Our guests today include stockmen from Texas and Florida, as well as our friend, Major League Baseball legend and beef master cattleman, Nolan Ryan. We'll see some great ranch country and learn about the essential six certified commercial female that is poised to play a major role in rebuilding our nation's cow herd. We've got a good show for you. We're glad you joined us, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Beef master cattle are truly a unique breed developed on essential traits for profitable beef production. They also possess these characteristics like weight, conformation, and hardiness in a very good balance. Their adaptability is proven and has spread the popularity of beef master cattle across the world. Beginning in the early 1930s, Tom Lassiter, the breed's founder, developed beef masters from a systematic crossing of Hereford, Shorthorn, and cattle that were the foundation of the American Brahmin. His purpose was to develop cattle that were more productive than existing breeds, cattle that would produce and make money during economically hard times in the harsh environment of South Texas. The breed was developed on what has become known as the six essentials, weight, conformation, milk production, fertility, hardiness, and disposition. These essentials became the economic strength of beef masters and have made them favorites with those who depend on cattle for a living. Beef masters are the only beef breed specifically developed to excel in these important economic traits. Lorenzo Lassiter, BBU past president and grandson of breed founder Tom Lassiter, is a fourth generation beef master breeder. He resides in San Angelo, Texas, and has seen beef master cattle evolve over the years firsthand. One of the things that makes the beef master breed completely unique is they were developed purely using economic criteria that we know as the six essentials. And this philosophy evolved a little bit by accident. My grandfather came from a commercial background out of the Depression, but he saw quickly that the way to, to affect uh, the kind of change that was meaningful in cattle was using economic traits as opposed to any kind of uh, aesthetics, which is how most beef breeds develop. Most develop around an aesthetic like color or size or type. And so beef masters were, were developed uniquely only using these six essentials. And, that resulted in cattle that I think are genetically quite different than a lot of, a lot of other breeds that are available um, because those economically viable traits are, are imprinted in them. And these are all traits that are of importance to the commercial cattleman, not, not to some other, other interest, but basically to, to producing beef in a, in a low cost environment. Although red is the most common color, the breed has no color standards. Beef masters were recognized by the U.S. Department of Agriculture as a breed in 1954. In today's cattle industry, where the nation's cow herd is being rebuilt, beef master cattle are just as relevant now as ever. Their unquestioned longevity, fertility, and docility, teamed with generations of range-proven hardiness, make them a solid economic choice. My grandfather believed that fertility was kind of the cornerstone of the philosophy. Um, obviously, cattle that can breed early and breed often um, are the most profitable kind of cattle. And breed over a long lifespan is, a, is another critical thing that's often overlooked. He began pregnancy testing in 1947 and uh, began shortening his breeding season uh, rapidly, ending up at a 45-day breeding season for, for many generations of cattle. Uh, where it remains today. And, and with those, uh, the, the, the imprinted fertility in the gene pool of, of beef masters is very, very strong. And that obviously has tremendous economic ramifications for anybody that uses the genetics. The ability of cattle to breed early and breed for a long period of time is, is, is money in the bank. A couple of other traits that are of, of, of real importance and often overlooked, disposition is one, also known as docility. And, Again, my grandfather did the same thing to move the needle there by culling any animals that were outliers over a long period of time. That pays dividends up and down the beef chain, whether you're a cow-calf guy or you're in the feed yard. 
you know, docile cattle pay, pay big dividends. And the final and probably the most obvious one to anybody in the beef business is, is the gain. Beef masters excel over most competing breeds at taking whatever type of cow you may like and getting more pounds at weaning out of them while still giving you tremendously valuable heifers, excellent feeder calves, all those things. But in a commercial setting, the calves that gain fast and wean off heavy, that's where the magic happens. That's where our customers get paid. Since the early 1970s, when the breed began rapid expansion from its South Texas birthplace, beef masters have steadily expanded across the United States and worldwide. Major League Baseball Hall of Famer and Texas rancher Nolan Ryan has some 40 years experience in the beef industry. Beef master cattle have always played a significant role in Nolan's commercial cattle endeavors. You can talk about their longevity, you can talk about their milking ability, but I think raising a calf every year and breeding back, and I just think the maternal side of it is what got my attention and, and is why I've really stuck with Beefmasters because I feel like the, under the circumstances that we ranch here and with the uh, droughts that we're constantly faced with, uh, with the different locations of our ranches from humidity to uh, insects to uh, arid areas, uh, they're very consistent on uh, raising their calves and breeding back, and I think that's, that's the real basis of it. Dr. Tommy Perkins serves as Executive Vice President of Beefmaster Breeders United, headquartered in San Antonio, Texas. Tommy's background includes time in both academia and genetic research. His presence gives added value in positioning the beef master breed for greater market share and future opportunity in the beef industry. We have really the things that the commercial cattle industry needs in terms of longevity, docility, fertility. Uh, we know we've got a nation of, of, of what I call a black hatted cow herd. Uh, and we need that balance of heterosis and, and to add that back into the cow herd. Beef master genetics offer that uh, really at a level that no other breed can do. Beef masters were developed in a commercial setting, and our founder, Tom Laster, I mean, he did a really good job of sorting out the traits that are economically important that make you profitable in the cow business. The uniqueness of Tom Laster's ideas on the six essentials of cattle breeding have always focused on the fundamentals of economic sense. Progressive cattlemen around the world understand that profitability must be the focus of their program. Fertility and disposition is the cornerstone of what the beef master breed was built on from its inception. Again, it goes back to our founder. He said a cow has a calf every year or she's not gonna remain in the herd. And that's the way it has been done in this, this breed forever. So that cow brings a calf in every year. And we've got cows out there 18, 20 years of age and still bringing in a calf every year. And the cool thing about it is not only bringing a calf in, but a calf is excelling in weaning weight. Uh, when that calf comes off the cow. It's not a poor doing calf, even at an 18 year old cow. One of the things I think the industry's gotten away from that, that I think is a real asset for uh, Beefmaster cows is their longevity. And you know, I think that a lot of times people don't give that enough thought, but uh, we'll have cows that uh, stay in a herd 16, 17 years and be very productive. And, and uh, you know, if your cow's falling out of eight or nine years, you're constantly faced with that expense. And so uh, I think that's one of the big pluses uh, with our breed. The BBU Essential Commercial Female Program is a prime example of expanding the market for Beefmaster cattle. Referred to as the Certified E6 Program, this system focuses attention on the strong maternal traits of Beefmaster cattle and helps commercial cattlemen develop stronger markets and greater value for their Beefmaster and Beefmaster cross heifers. The word essential is included in the name because of the six essentials upon which the breed was founded. Certification as an E6 female is based on positive inspection by BBU staff, whereby the animal is tagged or branded. Certified E6 females are commanding premiums as replacements. There's a lot of demand for them and they are suited for really uh, anywhere in the United States, uh, mainly in the southern half of the United States are very adaptable and, and uh, that way people can cross them with whatever bull they want to cross them. So uh, it's been a very good uh, venture for me and my cattle operation. 
With more than 38 years experience in breeding beef master cattle, current BBU president Steve Emmons of Fairfield, Texas is a man of practical vision. Steve's focus is set on producing what he calls the good one. Well, I read a lot about beef masters when I was in college, and I just liked the things I read about them, especially the extra weight and the milking ability of the replacement heifers. I've had these cattle 38 years, and we've had lots of droughts, especially the last 15 years, and these cattle will survive, and they'll breed back under harsh conditions. They're proven to stay in the pasture till they're 12, 13, 14 years old, producing marketable calves. The Beefmaster female is a time-proven product. She will work out in the pasture and make you money. Beefmaster cattle are designed for all environments and bring versatility that allows stockmen to customize them into diverse crossbreeding operations. They are efficient and economically productive cattle. We'll continue our Beefmaster story with feedlot performance and more when we return. You're watching The American Rancher. Please stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. We've learned that Beefmaster cattle were originated on six essential traits that are directly tied to economic viability. The Beefmaster E6 female is quite a package. The Beefmaster influence feeder steer has been thoroughly documented in the yard and on the rail and has been value proven as well. Here's more on our story. Beefmaster cattle have proven through performance and efficiency testing that they excel in both pre and post weaning gain and do it more efficiently with less input and less time in a diverse and wide range of environments. Trey Shearer, ranch manager of Collier Farms in Brenham, Texas, knows the importance of selecting performance tested bulls. Time and again, Trey has proven that beef masters excel in efficiency, gain, and docility for the feeder calf producer. The beef master bull and beef master genetics should be more valuable to the commercial cattleman and commercial cattle feeder because they can add gainability, docility, and overall efficiency to the cattle that they have in the feed yard. Beef master genetics are more docile, which leads to easier processing, easier handling, less stress, better health, and fewer dark cutters at the packer. Additionally, the gainability adds towards efficiency. You'll see more average daily gain. You'll see better gains in the yard, and you'll see lower cost of gains. Also, with the conversions at five to one or less, we see profitability go up, which is an overall benefit to the Beefmaster cattle. If commercial cattlemen can't go out there and have efficient cattle that are docile, that'll put more dollars in their pocket, we're gonna find it hard to survive in today's environment. Beefmaster bulls are valued for the maternal attributes of their female offspring that include early breed up, high calf survivability, and overall longevity in the cow herd. Beefmaster influence feeder calves are appreciated for efficiency of gain, fewer days on feed, and industry acceptable quality and cutability with high dressing percentages. Tremendous amount of data out there to show that our cattle will excel in, in what we'll call post weaning gain, uh, up to harvest gain. Uh, those cattle will excel in, and I'm telling you, they will really beat most cattle in ADG. But the cool thing about it is they're very efficient cattle. They take less pounds of feed to get the same pounds of gain per day. Uh, and they'll finish in the feed yard at a shorter number of days on feed, which is really, really neat. But also the best thing about it is those cattle will grade in terms of quality grade adequately and excel in yield grade. Uh, when we talk about cutability of our cattle, our cattle will have high cutability. Uh, they may not be the highest marbling cattle in the group, but they're gonna at least meet or exceed industry standards. And I promise they're gonna exceed yield grade and cutability of other breeds of cattle. Breeders understand the advantage of efficiency that beef masters possess due to their easy fleshing ability and heavier weights. Due to advancements in technology, data has been collected proving their efficiency on feed through measuring residual feed intake. 
In the fall of 2012 at the Genetic Development Center in Navasota, Texas, Beefmaster bulls marked the lowest or best RFI test score among a field of some 112 bulls representing 10 breeds. Tests were conducted using Grow Safe Systems technology and were supervised through Texas A&M. In tests that we've seen across the country, um, what we're finding out is beef master bulls have been placed in comparative groups with uh, other American bred bulls, all the English bred bulls. And what we're, the early indications are is that the beef master bulls are excelling when it comes to efficiency. They're rising to the top on these tests. Beef master breed in general is very efficient. Performance testing is essential in my mind. Being a younger breeder, we can go to sales today, purchase females or bulls with performance data. And using the Grow Safe system, we're getting feed efficiency data. We're getting average daily gains, RFI. And at the end of the day, I know what I'm buying and it was well worth the money spent. Beefmaster Breeders United provides age and source verification for producers that feed out Beefmaster influenced calves, qualifying these cattle for export markets. Beefmaster Breeders United is an authorized facilitator for TriMerit. This agent source program offers members, as well as commercial BBU producers, the ability to take advantage of value-added premiums. Beefmaster cattle work in all regions of the United States, in different climates and environmental conditions, from north, south, east, and west. John McCarthy is vice president of Two Rivers Ranch and a commercial cattleman from Dade City, Florida. He uses Beefmaster bulls on his commercial Red Angus cows to increase weaning weights on high moisture Florida grasses. Our program is basically we use uh, Beefmaster on the Red Angus cross cows and the Red Angus bulls on the Beefmaster cross cows, so we're always going back and forth. The, the main thing that we need here is, is for them to be able to survive in our environment and to breed back every year, have us a calf. We're getting a 90% on our, hef on our keeping heifers, breeding them to uh, calf, start calving in about 23 months, 22 and a half, 23 months. And we probably make more money on our Beefmaster calves than we do any anything else we sell, just for the simple fact that they outweigh everything else. So we're interested in the, in the dollar that we put in our pocket so the Beefmasters are working for us. Beefmasters growth around the world is overwhelming. The easy adaptability of these cattle to both arid and tropical climates, as well as their ability to fit in low input management environments, has bolstered the presence of the breed in all international markets. I'm very proud to send our Beefmaster cattle around the globe. And I believe the better job we do as Beefmaster breeders in getting our message out, we've got the right cattle. And we've come out of our hiding and we're getting our message out outside the borders of the United States. So it's opening up many opportunities for breeders around our country, not just in Texas, but breeders from California, breeders from North Carolina, from Florida. They all have the same opportunities that we have. And that's why we're called BBU. We're Beefmaster Breeders United, because we're out for one cause, and that's to improve the cattle industry around the globe. Steve Anderson is heir and president of Livestock Operations for Martin O'Connor Cattle Company based in Victoria, Texas. The ranch has a long family history in the commercial cattle business and appreciates the value of heavier Beefmaster cross calves at weaning time. Steve also emphasizes the resulting Beefmaster cross female keeps him using the breed. Beefmaster bulls add weight to my, weaning weight to my steers. They add pounds, and they also make it where I can have really good replacement females. And in South Texas, they're, they're, they're very hardy, they're tough, they do well. Uh, their disposition is a very big thing for me um, in that we can handle them. We, we can cross them with anything and, and really get a number one calf. We get number one calf prices for our calves. Beefmaster cattle are a solid foundation to vast numbers of commercial herds across the country. Beefmaster bulls and females are remarkably versatile. They bring adaptability, structural correctness, and reproductive efficiency. I tell you, I've only been here four years and I love the cattle. When it comes down to it, more efficient cattle will produce more pounds of beef on less grain, and that means more money in your pocket. 
I've been in the business for 40 years and I've had Beefmaster cattle for 40 years and I think I understand the cow and, and know what they're capable of doing. And uh, if you were going to rate them as as you would a ball player, you would rate them as a high utility player because of what, what they can do and consider them as a day in, day out type player. Fertility, longevity, growth performance, you will also not find a more docile breed of cattle with the adaptability to excel in any environment you put them in. Beefmaster Breeders United is a great group of cattlemen who are 